Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode four of Hot Mess with Alex Earl. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. We are in Perry. I'm standing under the Eiffel Tower. Everyone's looking at me like I am crazy, but that's okay. I needed to bring you guys on this trip with me. It just felt right. And I'm on this trip with my little sister, Ashton. She's been studying abroad in Florence. So I flew her out to Paris with me. We have a lot to talk about. And first off, I think we just need to sit here. We have a little picnic blanket. I want you to meet my sister because I don't think you guys really know her yet. Some of you might know her from my tech talk videos but you guys don't really know her and you need to get to know her so welcome to Perry wee wee welcome to Paris wee oui, wee oui, bonjour we're literally in the middle of a park we just put a blanket down I think this is like the walkway I don't really think anyone is supposed to sit here but this is the best angle and view. This is just a quick reminder for everyone to subscribe and like the show. Um, I forgot to say that the past few episodes, and I think I need you guys <laughs> to do that. So if you could subscribe and like this show uh, so we can keep it going. And, you know, follow I me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and follow Ashton. Follow me. Ashton, I'm really what's cool. your plugs? Oh, just at Ashton Earl. <laughs> It's taken us so long to set this up. <laughs> Alex was running around with her little suitcase all over trying to find a spot. To I set. just was like, I don't want to film in the hotel room if we're in Paris. Like, we have to sit in front of the Eiffel Tower. But I brought Ashton with me. She's my little sister. She has been studying abroad in Florence. And I was like, let's do a Paris episode together. She's two years younger than me. We've always been super close since we were little. Sometimes we will, like, fight, though, and bicker. Just like sisters, though. But, you know. It's always your fault. It's your fault. No. You're no, you're so slow. Well, you're the high strung one who can't ever just calm down for a well, second. Well, you're too calm. You never get high strung. Well, you never you need a little fire under your ass. You need a little chill pill. So we're like <laughs> total opposites. I'm kind of like crazier and anxious. Ashton like doesn't know what like getting anxious means. I mean, I have anxiety, but it's different than like that. We I were just, walking today, and I kid you not, she her legs are three times the size of mine, and she was a mile behind me. I'm like, Ashton, move it. Like, walk. And, like, as fast as she tries to walk, she will just never be close to me because she is so slow. Well, I just like to take my time. But I actually have a funny story. What? <laughs> Ever since being abroad, I've traveled a lot, and I have missed three trains and a flight because I take my time because <laughs> I'm just like oh no it's fine like me and my friend Alyssa who are staying here we're both too chill and we were like had to leave for our actually we were leaving for a bus but we literally had like 10 minutes to get to the bus station we we're like let's just have one glass of wine before we go <laughs> and then you know as it happened we um missed our bus speed it up bitch you <laughs> finish the story and Neither of us are capable of freaking out, which is kind of a problem, I think. I need someone like you in my life, but you piss me off, so I don't know. Love you. Love you, too. We're like best friends. Yeah. We really are. We are. It's so cute of us. We're the bestest of friends, but we bicker. Like, sisters bicker, mm -hmm. and it's kind of those fights where we will, like, argue with each other and, like, punch each other and say, like, I hate you, yeah. and then we, like, look at each other and we just start laughing. <laughs> Like last night, Ashton passed out on the bed and I was like, get up, you stupid bitch. Like, go to bed. And she's like, fuck you. Like, uh, like let me sleep uh. on the couch. She's fully clothed in her makeup, holding her phone in her hand. I'm like, go to bed. We got some wine oh. from a man on the street. It's really disgusting. It was way too expensive. It was like $40, but anything this for hot like mess. The, oh. the tourist wine that they walk around in like little plastic buckets and they're like, you want wine? And Alex is like, yeah, I want wine. And then he's like, cash. And she like looks at me because I don't, <laughs> she of course doesn't have any cash. I spend $40 on this disgusting <laughs> wine. Love you. It's worth it. So worth it. See, look how bougie we look with our little, <laughs> our little wine I, I know. Right when now. we said we were going to drink wine, I imagined like having like a wine glass, but I, yeah, I thought we were going to have a picnic with, like, baguettes. I thought we were going to be sitting on grass. We were on, like, the um, gravel in front of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, what's with that? Everyone like, is like, who are these American bitches? Go back to the States. Get out of here. 
That's how but she I'm likes. loving Paris. Oh, Paris is amazing. I think I need to move here. Oh, and I am. I, I found like a lot of French girlies here who I love, and they're like, love the podcast, love your TikTok, and I'm like, I love you. Dave, we've gone out, we've partied with them. We have a lot to unravel here. So actually, the first night that I was here, I went for dinner in the Eiffel Tower. Like, up there, we went in an elevator, and I have kind of a problem with, like, claustrophobia. Like, not too much, but I hate elevators, and I hate, like, tight, crowded spaces. So we're going to have dinner in the Eiffel Tower. It's on the, like, first level right there, and we get into this elevator. And the elevator has, like, when I tell you 30 to 40 people in it, I was like, oh, I'm okay. Like, I'll wait for the next one. And they were like, well, you can either, like, get in the edge of this one by the door or you're going to have to go all the way in the corner of the next cart. And I was like, okay, like, I'll just get in. We get in and it is, like, a subway or, like, a train at, like, the airport. Like, when it goes, everyone goes like this. And it's because the Eiffel Tower is built, like, it is. It's sideways. Like, you're not going straight up. You're going, like, through the structuring. And you see Wait. the rope. Yeah. <laughs> Do the, you all just, like, lean on each other? Yeah. I just fell on everyone. And you go sideways <laughs> like this. You go. Zoo, zoo. Wait, that's crazy. And, yeah, you're flying. You can probably see them now. See? What? They're flying sideways through the air. And I did not like it one bit. I was having anxiety every single second of it. Yeah. But right up there on that first level is where I was having dinner. Do you think there's drugs in this wine? I do feel goofy. Me too. Hmm. Ashton and I grew up together, so she probably knows me better than anyone. Unfortunately. <laughs> She's like my built-in best friend. Sometimes she doesn't like me, but she has to like me, so she has no choice. You just drive me crazy a little bit. Why? Because, like, how you just, like, flip a switch in your temper and you get mad for no reason well you make me mad i don't do anything to make you mad yes you're just like you make up things in your mind that make you mad and they would not make any other person in the entire world i have a perfect example of how ashton makes me mad okay we're in high school and i come into her room and she's sitting in bed and across the room is her backpack no i was not sitting in bed i was sleeping with the lights off okay so i go in to Ashton's room and I just needed flashcards because I was studying because Mm -hmm. I'm studious like I just wanted to write my stuff down from a test and I knew she had flashcards so I go into her room I turn on the light she's like I'm sleeping I was like I'm sleeping why would you just turn the lights on like because that's that is a normal reaction for when someone walks into your room while you're sleeping and just turns on all the lights are you kidding me that is a normal oh, reaction. Oh, God to forbid be- that I want to study. So, see, she's so dramatic. You can already see her getting worked up. So, I come in and I'm like, I just need the flashcards. <laughs> she's like, no. And she. No, you go, do you have flashcards? And I go, no, I don't. Get out. I'm sleeping. But I knew she had them. I, which I, which I, knew I did she it. Did. You some, did. You no, did. No, for the record, I didn't. Because eventually I was like, here, look through my fucking backpack. I don't have them. I wouldn't lie. Okay, just let me tell the story. I <laughs> I win I win this story by the way. Oh Actually, my God. No. she does not win. She won she, to my mom because well, of what happened. Wait. <laughs> so I go in. I'm like, okay, I just need these flashcards. She's like, I don't have flashcards. I'm like, can I just check? And she's like, no, I don't have them. And I'm like, but can I just check? And she's like, no. And I'm like, if you just let me walk over there, check that you don't have them. I will leave your room and go to bed. But I just want to like check and see if you have them. And she's being so stubborn. Okay. Wouldn't let me walk across the room. We had a 30 minute fight over this. It could have been done in well, 10 seconds. And in, in no. my defense, in my defense, um, I didn't have flashcards and right. I was trying to go back to sleep. But But that's not the point. You should have just let me check. But I didn't have them. Why didn't you believe me? So then I (laughs) was like, I don't care. Whatever. She won't let me come in. We're going back and forth. I'm like, what can I throw? (laughs) What can I throw at her head? (laughs) Yes, because that's a normal reaction for when someone doesn't let you have their flashcards. Well, because she's crazy. So I'm like, what's my nearest weapon? And I. (laughs) Oh, I'm the crazy one. (laughs) I. (laughs) I'm not crazy. This is normal. I take a straightener and I just (laughs) threw it at her because I'm Chucks it. Stop. Square in the face. I didn't mean to hit her in the face, but I did hit her in the face. And And then I got a bloody nose. And then my mom comes in the room because she hears Ashton crying. Well, I'm crying with a bloody nose. Oh my God. It was like two drops of blood. And uh, not the point. I was sleeping and then I somehow (laughs) ended up with a bloody nose. But oh, you could have just let me check for the flashcards. I didn't have flashcards. But if you just let me check, I would have left. 
Anywho, but, so my mom comes in. She's that does not justify you throwing a straight. And obviously, at my, my mom face. took her side because she had a bloody nose. Mom always takes her side though because okay. Ashton's like the baby. Like Ashton was the youngest, and I was the oldest. This was like before our little siblings. Like you were just the baby, so you always got like well, all the attention and all the praise because you would always beat me up. But you were just a baby about it. Well, like, yes. I would like be like this, and she'd be like. Well, then I realized I could use it to my advantage a little bit, which, you yeah. know. She, no. she cries wolf. She's like, Alex hit me. And I'm like, I didn't hit you. I definitely, yeah, I started to do that. But at the beginning, it was because you would, mom always That's believed bad. me because you would always hit me and yeah. always beat me up. So, well, you yes. could hit me back. I started, <laughs> that's just not my thing. I <laughs> just, yeah. Ashton and I are polar opposites. We're like black cat, golden retriever. Except like, yeah, I think I am more fun than you, but you're really fun. But you're a little bit more quiet and like shy yeah, no, and reserved. And I'm true. more like crazy, like, ah, like what's everyone doing? Like, I'm still all fun sorts though. Of that. No, you are fun. You are. We, you. <laughs> we've had fun together. But even in relationships, we're super different. Like I'm, I was actually just talking about this with my therapist and she was kind of explaining how like this works. Like I'm more like avoid an attachment issue so i'm like i'm good with myself and like you can be there if you want to be there i'm not saying this is right i'm just saying this is like how i am i'm more like secure with myself and like i don't feel like i ever like really need someone but it's like nice to have someone and you're like the opposite you call me insecure no 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 i am it's okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, no no <laughs> she's like no but you're more like the opposite. You like, rely on like the oh, other person a little bit more. That's like, I feel like that's like fun though. Just to have someone like do everything for you're, you. You're like, make my decisions for <laughs> yeah, me. I'm like, do I don't want to do anything. Like you. Ashton's like, a princess. Uh, yeah. She's always been that way. She's just like a little like diva princess. I'm not a diva. I just, I like to be baby. She likes to be pampered and babied. I like to be babied. Is that so wrong? Um... I'm I don't not think saying I, that's wrong. I don't think that's a bad thing to be babied sometimes. I am independent though. Okay. I'm, I'm living I alone. I will say, I will say Ashton has become a whole new person. If you knew her last year, no, you didn't because she yeah. just blossomed the past few months that she's been abroad because I knew this was going to happen. I was like so uh, excited. Scratch my back like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you. So <laughs> I was like, she's just so great and I just love her so much. <laughs> So she went abroad and she blossomed into a new person. She's so like confident and found herself. And I think you really needed that. She needed to leave the US. She went through a bad breakup and she was, I was like, I she mean, needs it to wasn't leave. a bad breakup, we but it, it was just up. a heartbreak. Yeah. Heartbreak. And she, you know, she needed to leave the country to start over. And I don't want to go back into the country. She has 45 boyfriends. <sighs> I wish. <laughs> Um, and she's killing it and she's loving life and we need to like talk to you guys about how she has been doing abroad what abroad is like because I didn't study abroad in college I was actually we'll get into this I was supposed to and I dropped out two weeks before and I Big think everything mistake. happens for a reason <laughs> no I think for me it's better that I didn't go but for you it's better that you oh, did go if I didn't go I'd probably be like in a depression hole right now yeah and <laughs> <laughs> your french is so bad wait i feel like that was good no. i feel like i used a little bit of an accent no. there <laughs> every time you're like merci i'm like no what is it merci merci, merci. i don't know just like don't say merci like try a little bit i'm the most uncultured person here everyone's like where are you from i'm from like london i'm from ireland i'm from paris and i'm like i'm from new jersey like it's, this it is really humbling telling people you're from new jersey when you're in europe i don't know why or like just like from the states in general like i know i would rather be from europe i want to we were shopping here. today and the guy asked me he was like are you uh where are you from i was like oh i live in miami and he's like oh well I thought you were like from Greece or something. I was like, thank you. That is know. the best compliment. Yeah. When someone's like, I thought you were Italian. Ashton I thought, thought you told were, she was Latina. Oh my God. That is like, I was like, so you think I'm hot? <laughs> like if someone thinks you're Latina, that means they think you're hot. We could play like a who's more. Oh, you <laughs> did you just spill all over my jacket? 
No. <laughs> Again. I am Mimi, very... if you're watching this, I did not <laughs> spill anything on the clothes that you gave me. I do have to say I'm a very clumsy person. You're clumsy and I'm messy. Yeah. There's a difference, though. Yeah. Like, like you can't <laughs> walk... I can't hold a line. drink without oh, getting oh, it. Oh, my God. Growing up, Ashton, <laughs> so she would spill every single drink at the restaurant when we oh, were little. But I was always the one to cry about and it, And she would I bawl her eyes out because she so didn't... So embarrassed. She didn't understand the concept of people, like, laughing with you, no. not at you. So, like, she spilled her drink and we'd all be like, ha, ha, ha. I was, like, and the she shyest bawl her little girl ever. Like, so shy. I... Like, someone would, like, look at me the wrong way. I would just start crying and, like, curl into a ball. Like, when I would spill a glass of something at a restaurant, and even at home. Like, I would cry at home if I spill, spill a glass Ashton of water in front of mom. was such a little, like, baby. She couldn't even... She still, like, I think just learned how to order food at a restaurant. Shut up. No, I didn't. Okay, Ashton. Like, literally until two years ago, you'd be like, can I have a hot Okay, dog? I could order. Can I, I was just... Have a- Please, can I have the mac and cheese? I don't know. I don't know. I was just quiet. Yeah, like, but why is it scary to order food? It's not scary. I learned that a while ago. I'm just quiet. I just don't speak up. But I'm working on it. Yeah, you're better. Thank you. She said something today. What I We say? went to go get macaroons. She really learned how to speak up for herself, but I think it <laughs> came off a little bitchy. Oh, I don't think that was a big deal. Wait, we, th- we I, I go like in to get these macaroons, and we've been, like, talking all trip about these macaroons. We go in, and we, like, knew the flavors we wanted. She was like, oh, can I have, like, the rose, the raspberry, the chocolate, and the vanilla? He goes... Oh, and the pistachio. And she, he was like, um, we're out of the raspberry, the rose, the chocolate, the pistachio. And Ashton was like, what the fuck? That was every flavor I wanted. And the guy was like, ah. well, I was like laughing when I said it. Right. I don't know. Well, I don't my, think things my, fa- sound as funny coming out of our mouths because we both have like pretty bad yeah. RBFs, which is I an have RBF is problem a problem a lot. RBF is a resting bitch face. And like. I have a bad one. I think she may have a worse one. I also have a very dry sense of humor. So people just think I'm being mean. And I'm like, why why would you think I'm mean? Like, I'm the nicest person ever. I have, like, positive, happy thoughts floating through my mind. And all of a sudden, my face is, like, anger, death. I want to kill you. Yeah. I have this photo of me, actually, from my freshman year of college. And I said to all the girls, I was like, you know, like, I really want to be the nice girl. Like, you know, I want to be, like different than I was in high school not that I was a bitch in high school but like I just want to be a better person like I want to like up my game and she took a photo of me sitting on the bed and she's like look at your face right now as you're saying this and I'm literally like (laughs) yeah like I just can't help it so I'm really trying to work on it no but Ashton's is really bad RBF yeah I have that problem really bad it's the Earl it's our Earl genes all of my German all of my friends are like yeah I thought you were a huge bitch before I met you but you're actually like the nicest person ever that's what everyone says to me I thought you were a bitch before I met you I'm like well fuck me you know that like trend on TikTok where it's like looks like could kill you is a cinnamon roll yeah everyone says that about me because I'm a cinnamon roll would you say I'm a cinnamon roll? No. Like, yes, like you are very nice, but I'm not a cinnamon roll. You're not a cinnamon roll. Is there like I'm an like in-between? I'm like a baguette. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? Really? I think I'm a baguette. I'm no. kind of hard on the outside and like soft and yummy. <laughs> <laughs> um, ew. You're like, looks like could kill you, would kill you. If I need to kill you, I But you're kill also you. very nice. Like you're not just like a straight up bitch all the time. I'm not a bitch ever. (laughs) Only if I need to be a bitch. And the only only time I am a bitch is if I'm standing up for myself or my friends or my sister. That's my problem. Alex always stood up for me, which, thank God, because I could never stand up for myself. I still can't. That's something I'm still working on. I would, like, pray on girls that bullied her. Oh, no. The police are here. Are they going to arrest us? Are we in trouble? No. Hi. Hi. Bonsoir. All I... The only French word I can ever think of is merci. All I ever want to say is, I'm like, merci. I'm like, that just means thank you. Um, what were we saying? I've been saying bonsoir to everyone, and I don't know what, oh, what that, that means. means. I think it means, like, good afternoon. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Bon? Bonsoir. I thought it was bon. No, bon. You just said bon. I said bon, but I'm saying it with my French accent, <laughs> so it's bon. <laughs> bonsoir. Bonsoir. For this episode, 
we are gonna take you guys on our trip to Paris with us. We've been vlogging a little bit and we need to tell you guys what's been happening because I'm here for Paris Fashion Week and a lot has been going on. I've been out till 7 a.m. every night, which is disgusting, but the time <laughs> difference is really messing me up. Today was the first time I saw like daylight in Paris. Every other day Same. I was sleeping until like 4 p.m. and then I would just get up and like start doing my hair and makeup to go out. So. I saw the daylight today. We went shopping, we got food. Let me play you guys a little vlog of what's been going on in Paris. You go away. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so Alex is honestly the best big sister ever. She always includes me in everything. Even when we were little kids, she would let me hang out with her friends, which I feel like is very rare. She's always stood up for me because I clearly can't stand up for myself. She's always stood up for me in fights and like whenever I had a problem with girls or anything, even in high school, I remember she was like, let me text those bitches. And I was like, please don't text them. But yeah, no, she's really a great sister. And I couldn't be more grateful to have such an awesome built-in best friend. Can I come back now? I guess. Should we do runway walk? Because it's Paris Fashion Week. Oh, yeah. Yay. It's Paris Fashion Week. I was invited to walk in a show that I did not because if you've ever seen me walk before I, I just can't shake it like Shakira like that so <laughs> I didn't do it okay but I'm gonna show you how it We're would be if I, I was walking under the Eiffel Tower wait I think I'm good I think I'm good I'm like, hold on okay Let you me go. go by myself you go 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 don't steal my moment <laughs> what Oh my gosh, is that such Shalom Harlow? I think there's drugs in this wine. Wait, yeah, there is. We need to go to dinner. Ooh, we need to. I forgot about dinner. We need to we get should, out of here. We should go. Hello. Hi. <laughs> we need to debrief you guys on what has been going on in Paris because I think it's almost time we need to get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> So let me take you back. Let me start with my flight to Paris. I had a very great flight. I was flown out by a brand. They put me in first class. I was living lavish. I made a video TikTok vlog. I was like, wow, this is so bougie and nice. I'm having champagne. I don't think you guys understand how hot it was on this flight. Holy hell, I was dying on this flight there was none of the like overhead switches there was no airflow <laughs> so i'm sitting on this flight and it's an overnight like a red eye i'm like okay i should probably pass out go to bed but i can't sleep right now because it's so hot so i was like you know what i'm just gonna like take my pants off because there was nothing else i could do at this point you took your pants off on the plane Yes, but Alex, there was nothing else I could do. You can't do that. I wait, listen. There are other options. <laughs> no, there was no other options. I had a <laughs> zip up hoodie on and sweatpants and a tank. So I took the hoodie off. I'm in my tank in my sweatpants. I took my socks off. My feet were out. It still was not enough. I was literally dripping in sweat. I had oh, my handheld fan. There was nothing I could do. You can't take your pants off on an airplane. Well, I had a blanket over me so, so why don't you just take the blanket off of you and leave your pants because the sweatpants were thick so <laughs> this is the last i'm bringing 10 layers next time i go because i need to be able to strip down i had to take off my pants get into my thong on the airplane and i was like you know what it's fine i'm just gonna like be in my underwear i'll put the like light blanket they had over me and i'm gonna go to bed but the problem with that is that when you're sleeping i feel like you toss and turn yeah 
So I'm like, there's a possibility that I'm going to toss and turn on this flight right now and everyone's going to see like my left butt yeah. cheek. Did you wake up like ass out? No, <laughs> but I was like, there's no other option for me at this point. I would rather everyone see my bare ass than me deal with this heat right now because I was dying. Um, so that's how the flight was for me, but yeah. we made it here. So I'm getting off the flight. I land. I'm like, finally, I'm in Paris. My sister is already at the hotel, so I'm going to go meet her there. I have a text from Ashton at 8 a.m. that says, oh, just getting back to the hotel. Here's the room number. My friend's sleeping over. I'm like, hello? Like, is there space for me in the bed? And she's like, yeah, just going to bed. And then my text don't send to you anymore. Did your phone die? I don't know. Maybe. But like, what did you do that night? Why were you out until 8 a.m.? I met up with my friends who were studying abroad here. We went to a really fun dinner. And then we're like, we're going to go to Lark after. Like, it's this cool club. Apparently, Quavo's going to be there. So we were like drinking at dinner. And I had ordered myself a dirty martini. And I don't think I'm allowed to drink dirty martinis anymore. Because the last time I did, I lost my phone in Ibiza. So... <laughs> Yeah, Ashton's first night in Ibiza, she lost her... I'm like, hey, Ashton, how is it? None of my texts are going through. I'm like, my mom's like, uh, she lost her phone. Yeah, so I don't think I'm allowed to drink dirty martinis anymore because I think I had like three at dinner and then everyone's like, let's take shots before we go. So we were like, okay. And then we did that. And then we went... Literally, the restaurant was across the street from the club. So then we just walked across the street. We met up with some people and we went in. We were only there for like an hour. And then we went to another club and we were there for a while. And then that's when things took a turn because I don't remember leaving this club. And then we somehow ended up in another club, which I don't even know how I got into. People were like, yeah, everyone was getting denied from there. Like, Wait, so you went to four clubs? Yes. Wow. I did. I don't remember getting in or leaving really. And then all of a sudden I'm at like some sketchy ass place at like 6 a.m. And okay. I was like, that's when like reality set in. And I like looked at my friend and it was just me and my friend left. We started off with like eight people. Dad's gonna like book you a flight home after hearing this. I know. My phone said like 6.30 and I was like, okay, we have to go now. <laughs> just me and the, the one friend. The sun is coming up. And she was like, should we walk? back to the hotel it's pretty close and i was like okay yeah it was not close it was a 40 minute walk in heels and i saw the sun come up and at that point i was questioning reality and yeah it was not a great next day i think i slept all day flash forward to that night we decide to go out together I come to meet Ashton at this restaurant. I don't get there till like 1 a.m. And then we were like, okay, let's go out. We go to this other club and Paris is kind of like Miami. Like everything starts really late, which I find is cool. Like everyone's like going to dinner at 10 p.m. I'm like, this is perfect for me. But the problem is with this time difference, during the day, I'm so tired because it's like 8 a.m. at home. And then it hits 1 a.m. and I'm like, good morning i'm ready to go so like going out here has been dangerous for me because you're like drinking you i have tequila shots i'm getting my second wind of the day i'm waking up in the morning i'm like this is perfect we go out and at first we were actually like we should go home like yeah, we, we were at this one club and we had one drink yeah we were just kind one of like drink standing there like mm -hmm. and i was like you know what it's really crowded like we have a lot to do tomorrow i'm tired like i just got off the flight a few hours ago like we should probably go to bed mm -hmm. So then uh, we couldn't get an Uber because there was no service. So while we were waiting for our phones to load, we were like, we should just get another drink. Naturally. And I think we had a shot as well. Yeah, we did. And then, you know, our Uber's loading. It's like two minutes away. We finished our shots and our drink. I'm like, this is perfect. Like two drinks. We're ready to go home. And we run into these girls. And... I love you guys. You guys are the best. Uh, this is all thanks to you <laughs> that we had a great night because they were like, hey, Alex. And I was like, yeah. And they're like, oh, my God, like, we love you. We love your podcast. We love your TikTok. And they were French girls and they were so cool and so nice. And they were like, the French girlies love you. I was like, oh, my God, they had the coolest accents. They were beautiful. And I was like, hi, nice to meet you. And she was like, 
my husband is DJing right now. Like, do you want to come in the DJ booth with us? The DJ booth. Oh, no. Girls go crazy for the <laughs> DJ booth. I always end up in the DJ booth. I need to get out of there. So we were like, yeah, yeah. I cancel my Uber. We're trudging towards the beloved DJ booth. But you know what? I haven't been in a DJ booth in Paris, so we had to. And we get back there. And these girls are going crazy. They're like, let's take shots. We're drinking, like, vodka. And something they did, which I don't know if this is a thing here or if we were just getting, like, duped or whatever. But they were like, oh, yeah, we're just uh, having this drink, like, vodka pure. And I was like, oh, like, is that a brand of vodka? Like, okay, (laughs) sip, sip, sip. And I'm like, "Mm, this is really strong. And they're like, yeah, vodka pure. Like, it's just vodka. They just poured me, I have a photo, they just poured me a glass of vodka with ice. I was like, (laughs) vodka. Do I say it like that? Yeah. Vodka. Vodka. Whatever. (laughs) Then we're having these vodka. Vodka. (laughs) Why do you say it like that? Vodka. I don't know. So we're having these vodka. (laughs) That's weirder. Vodka. Whatever. We're in the DJ booth. We're having these vodka drinks and now I can't say it. Whatever. We're having these drinks and we had a great night with them. We were having so much fun. I end up going to the bar. And do you remember when I gave the wrong card? Oh, that was so <laughs> So we funny. go to the bartender and I'm like trying to order a drink because I can't have any more of these vodka pures or <laughs> I'm going to be vodka passed out on the floor. <laughs> so I hand him my card at the bar and he's like, oh, no. And I was like, oh, yes, like it should work like it's fine he's like oh no 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 and i was like wait what is it because like like is this like a u.s dollar problem like what's happening right now like do i need euros (laughs) do they need cash and he's like no no and i like take the card back and i look at it and it's a wooden rectangle and it's our hotel key room card no he shined his phone he whips out his phone (laughs) to shine his own flashlight on the card because she was like no like take it take it and it was our hotel card so no wonder we couldn't charge i'm like room service (laughs) we get back to the hotel room i don't know for what reason like ashton went up before me we ended up staying out till like 4 30 ish 5 ashton goes up and like i i think i went to go get another room key because i'm handing them out like credit cards over at the bar and i go to the elevator and it says like four so i'm like perfect Four floor four. Four floor. Four floor. <laughs> and I click four. It takes me to this elevator. I don't think anything about it. And I start going down. And I'm like, wait a minute. We're going up. You know, like we're supposed to be going up. And I hit minus four, which whoops, I didn't know. That's like very confusing for me. Oh, so I didn't confusing. see the little minus sign before I hit the four. I go down to the dungeon of this hotel in Paris. I get out and I'm like, oh okay, back to the lobby, like hitting the lobby button. It's not working. Not at all. I'm using my room key. Nothing. I'm So I'm stuck in this dungeon down in this basement. And I'm like, oh, my God. At this point, my phone dies. Dies. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm going to sleep in the dungeon of this hotel in Paris. I'm bawling my eyes out. I'm like, <laughs> you're so dramatic. Uh, would you have been happy down there? Well, I mean, it's like just downstairs at the hotel no you don't understand there was nothing down there it wasn't like downstairs like there was like staff stuff there it was nothing like a little white room i was like is this how they trap people like oh my god they definitely do this to drunk girls and take them down here taken yes so (laughs) i turn the corner and i see stairs so i'm like okay we can just take the stairs up we can just go up to the regular fourth floor i go up one flight of stairs i go up another and there's a door that says like an exit door to the street so i'm like okay let me just like press on that door and it doesn't like open all the way there's like a lock so it like presses i can like see the street of paris but i can't get out there so i was like oh my god okay so at this point i'm really freaking out and like i just want to call ashton ashton's probably sound asleep she's ordering room service she's like i don't care where's alex (laughs) so i keep going i'm like up another flight of stairs and i take a take a turn all of a sudden i'm in the spa of the hotel and i'm like hello like obviously it's the middle of the night no one's in the spa i see like the saunas i see the gymnasium i'm like what is going on right now and then i take a left i take a right i was making roundabouts i'm sorry am i boring you oh 
No, sorry. I'm taking a left. I'm taking a right. I'm going roundabouts in the gym in the spa. I get to like a front desk. I go out. I see another elevator. I'm like, please, dear Lord, have this elevator take me up to the fourth floor. It led me to the lobby. Then I got to go to the regular elevators and I got to the room. I was shaking. Like, you know, when you're just so scared, like after you like hit something with your car and you're like, oh no. (laughs) After you (laughs) casually hit something with your car. So finally, we get back to the room, we have a room service, and then we're kind of up all night because I have this energy. I just, you know, escaped from the dungeons in Paris. I'm like thrilled. I'm having my vodka pures. I'm like, I am full of life right now. <laughs> I'm FaceTiming everyone on my contact list, and we're up until like 7 a.m. again. So the next morning, I had something to do. I think I had something to post, and like my agent is like banging on my door, like banging on the hotel door. <laughs> I don't think my phone was plugged in. I wasn't answering anyone. I was like sound asleep. It's 3 p.m. She's like bang, 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 and I wake up and I come out and she's like, uh, Alex, like you have so much to do. Like you have to be ready in an hour. And I'm like, what is going on right now? So that's how I was woken up the next day, and we went out again the next night. We had a lot of fun. And let me tell you, I know I kind of shit on New York Fashion Week, but Paris Fashion Week is much better and the after parties are actually fun. We went to a Valentino after party and I was having the time of my life. Like, I thought it was so cool. I thought it was so Everyone was having fun. Like, I feel like in New York, everyone was like miserable and like everyone here is just like fun and cool and fresh and funky and... I was having a great time. People are like actually fashionable here and like it's like intimidating. Everyone's really cool and like just like she knows all the fashion like, stuff and I don't know anything. I want to be them. Yeah. We also saw, um, who did we see? Uh, oh, Dan Humphrey. We saw Dan Humphrey <laughs> at one of the parties and I was just freaking out. Like, I feel like I don't really fan no. girl. Me and Alex like looked at each other. I was like, do you but see I him? I feel like because you <laughs> gossip girl. I'm like Dan Humphrey, Dan Humphrey. So and like, then they, imagine we're, we're at this okay. party. We're it's sitting like red down. lights. Every club here, by the way, is red lights. Just red lights. There's no normal lights. And I'm like, oh my God, Ashton, do you see Dan Humphrey? All of a sudden, the Gossip the Girl song starts playing. And we, I was like, we like look, we were like, can you hear the Gossip Girl song? <laughs> we were like such little geeks. We were geeks. freaking out. I was like, oh my God. And then I like saw him and I was like trying to like sip my drink and like be, you know, like nonchalant. I was like, yeah, like maybe he'll come over. Like, <laughs> yeah, talk I'm Serena to- Vanderwoods and maybe he'll come over to me and like just like say hi. <laughs> and, um, I'm like sipping my drink and I like forgot to like close my mouth I think and just like my drink when I tell you I basically just went like this and like poured my drink on my face like dripping down my neck I was like what is going on right now (laughs) so way to be hot Alex then we went to another party then we went home you know We've just been up really late every night, but we have been having a lot of fun. So right now I'm getting ready to go to the Miu Miu show for Paris Fashion Week. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of me like getting ready and getting dressed. Let's go. Can I have your credit card? Can you have my credit card? Yeah. For the massage? Yeah. <laughs> my card. Sure. You said you would pay for it. Sure. <laughs> Bonsoir. <laughs> Bonsoir, bitches. We are back. I went to the Miu Miu show. Ashton took my credit card and went to the Ritz Carlton and got herself a massage for an hour and a half. So that was cool of you to do. I deserved it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Ashton has been studying abroad in Florence for the past month and a half, month, and mm-hmm. she is loving it. She goes to Tulane regularly for school but she's studying abroad right now and I feel like I need to hear about your experience because I was supposed to go abroad and I dropped out a week and a half before yeah so how are you liking it I love it like I don't want to go back to America I just I don't know everything's just so Everything amazing in Europe is better it's so much better like it's Americans, first of all we need to get our shit together I mean not Paris but like Italy everything's so much cheaper and I don't know it's just better like the food's better it's not all preservatives and all that stuff the only thing is I'm never I never have any euros with me Mm. which is kind of a problem 
Yeah. Yeah. Get your euros up, girl. Get your euros. So what is, like, different than you expected? Okay, well, you know, like, everyone says this, like, everywhere you go. They're like, oh, it's not safe, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah. you might get some things stolen. Like, yeah, but, like, we grew up, like, near New York. Like, yeah, that we've heard that before. Um, it's true. Um, <laughs> so one night, um, me and my friend Alyssa, who also goes to Tulane with me, um, we got drinks with a friend, and we were walking home after, and we saw a McDonald's on the way home, and we were like, oh, my gosh, we haven't had european mcdonald's yet so we're like let's go and as we were in there we we're just ordering we we're like oh like i kind of it was also like 2 a.m i think okay. but we were kind of like oh like this is the one by the train station we like we heard it was a little sus in this area at night so we're like okay like whatever though so we got our mcdonald's to go and we were just walking home just like talking like me and her walking down the street all of a sudden i Alyssa's to the left of me I look to my left and there's this creepy little man. He's like behind her with like his hands around her neck like this. Yeah. And she's just like silent. And I'm like, hey, hey, like I didn't even know what to do. There's no way. You're no. always so quiet. And no, I was like, hey, <laughs> like at the top of my lungs. And then all of a sudden he was gone. And I was like, what just happened? Did he just grab your neck? And she was like, oh my God, he took my necklace off of me. And it was like, it happened within like, Point five seconds like i'm not yeah, kidding heard they're really and quick with the jewelry. literally he just we turned around and he was gone down the street and made like a turn like so quickly and Alyssa's like it was fake bitch and i was like oh thank god it was fake she was like it wasn't and i was like oh shit oh man she had like this gold chain on from her grandma i felt really bad that sucks but yeah yeah so it's real just thank god like he didn't like try to like hurt us or anything yeah how do you think the guys are compared in <laughs> europe <laughs> or like Italy compared to America. Um, first of all, I think they're hotter. Yeah, but they're much more like forward. Yes, and I kind of like it because me too. no guys at home like come up to me and I'm like, am I ugly? When I went to Greece this past May, all the guys like they're just so flirty, and I was like, this is kind of great. Like you're walking and they're just like, hey, sexy mama. I'm like, oh my god, hype me up. They're very forward and it's very nice. No, some of them are and definitely a little aggressive though. So like the first night I like went out like clubbing in Florence. I mean, this isn't really a story. It's just like a scenario. Um, I like, like three men tried to kiss me. And wow. I, no, but like old men, like not in a cute way, in like a gross way. So that's also like the bad part of the europeans i kissed an old man when i was in greece this year <laughs> and like no but like when like this one guy tried to kiss me and i was like ew no like get away from me he was like what he was like so offended i was like we've been talking for a total of five seconds and he was just like i was like no and then i got asked out on like three dates my first week being there also by creepy old men so like it I mean, doesn't really killing it it doesn't really count though when they're creepy old men you yeah, know not really but they're very forward um, the, the guys are definitely more attractive, I would say. Oh, in yes. Europe, and they have such better style. Oh, yes. And they know how to flirt. Mm -hmm. They're just more suave. More suave. Over here. Yeah. I remember in May, I was posting on TikTok that, like, I had a bucket list with my friends when we were in Europe. And on the bucket list, but it was kind of like predictions, like, of what we thought would happen or who we thought would do what. It was like, Alex is going to kiss someone <laughs> over the age of 40. Oh, did you? Yes, I fell in love with this Greek man. How and man? You mean grandpa? He was like 45. That's not bad. Dad's like 45. <laughs> Dad, turn <laughs> off the podcast. It's not that bad. Anywho, he was so cute. And we just had a little kiss. At a little kiss. A little kiss at the restaurant. He owned it. Oh. And, you know, he kept sending bottles of champagne. And oh I was good. like. I was going to say, did you get free drinks out of this? Yeah. <laughs> I had to say thank you. Um. <laughs> But, yeah, that's how the men are over here. Just better. Okay. Could we get two Aperol Spritz? Sure. And some spicy edamame. Spicy edamame. And yeah. some maki rolls. Maki rolls. And some salmon sushi. And salmon sushi. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. I was signed up to go abroad. Two weeks before, I started getting really bad, like, just a bad feeling in my stomach. It was like a gut feeling. Like, you know what? It just, I don't know how to explain it. I just didn't feel right. I was crying. I was like, I can't go. And I wanted to go my whole life. So I didn't understand. But I was like, I cannot go. Ends up, I don't go. That semester was my spring semester, my junior year. And that's where I like hunted down on like management and was like, I want to find a manager and I want to like start trying to monetize off social media. And 
every single management company turns me down. They're like, no, you don't have enough followers. No, that's not happening. Like, no, sorry, we're too full right now. Like, that's what they all would say to me. And I was like, I'm not giving up. I really, really want to find one. So what? Is there a parade? I don't know. There's always like fun little tunes playing in the streets. I love it. Anywho. Finally, I find this one girl and she was like, yes, I'll sign you. I'll start working with you. And then that's where like my social media start came from in terms of like making money. And I was like, oh, I can do this as a job. And I didn't have like I didn't have really a lot of followers at the time, but I had enough to make money. And I was like, you know what? If I have these followers, like I should try and monetize off of it. And it's so crazy because that manager, um, her name is Lexi. She was so sweet. She like really helped me that summer. I would like ask her all the time because I was like, I really, really want to take this seriously. And I really want to like do well at social media. So I would ask her to like to like give me critiques on my social media and like what she thinks I could do more. And she was like, you have to show more of your personality. Like you have to talk. And so I would try and incorporate that into my posts. And that's the summer I ended up like blowing up and I mean, starting to gain followers at the time. But I just feel like I wouldn't be here today if I had gone abroad. Wait, that's really cute. I didn't know that about Lexi. Yeah. That she, like, gave you all that advice yeah, to no, be more. Yeah, no, she was so sweet and Aww. so supportive and love you, Lexi. I don't know. I think everything yeah. happens for a reason. Definitely. Me, on the other hand, if I didn't go abroad. Yeah. Ashton I was in a dark hole this summer. Oh, I didn't go out. I, like, stayed in my room all summer. My dad would call me every day yeah. being like, are you depressed? Are you okay? And I was like, yeah, but, like, not Mom really. My dad would call me every day and they're like, what's wrong with Ashton? I was like, she just needs to get I was out like, of the I house. Just need like, to she needs to get leave. out of here. Yeah, and look at me now. And now she's killing it. And now I'm the happiest little turn up in the planet. What? <laughs> I don't know. Ignore that. I need a drink. I was asked, I was invited to a bondage party in Munich. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? Like bondage? Like, like BDSM? Like, like what we, does that party mean? You just wear that? I'm pretty sure like everyone just like does like freaky shit together at the party. And okay, I was actually in a DJ booth. <laughs> It always starts in a DJ booth. It Get always starts there. in a DJ booth. <laughs> so I was in Munich and it was about 5 a.m. And I was, you know, in the DJ booth. And um, I guess this guy was talking to my friend Lily and he was like, oh, like she's studying in Italy. And he was like, oh, like I'm from Italy. And he's like, you're from Italy? I was like, no, I'm from America. And he was like, oh, you're an American girl. And I was like, yeah. He's like, I heard American girls are wild. And I was like, yeah, not really. He's like, you heard of... <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah no <laughs> I was like no and he was like um well I actually when he first said this I was like yeah I've heard of that because I thought he said you heard of Von Dutch because he had an accent so I thought he was talking about the brand Von Dutch he's like I'm having a Von Dutch party and I was like that's so cool but what was he having a bondage party <laughs> oh he's a bondage no. and he was like he, and then I like and then I got it like the second time he said it he was like yeah freaky American girls and I was like wait bondage and he was like bondage and I was like oh, no and he was like oh like I thought the girls were crazy you're not crazy from America I was like no 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 and I was like I'm so scared so yeah I almost went to a bondage party because I thought it was for Von Dutch. <laughs> Ashton's working with Von Dutch now. I was like, cool, I'm getting invited to a fashion party. <laughs> the fashion parties are a lot better, though, here in Europe than opposed to in New York. Everyone's just, like, free-flowing, free-spirited here. Everyone's cooler, and, like, they're just letting loose, having fun. I feel like New York was, like, more, like, stuck up weirdly because, like, I feel like the people here are more... Wait, I feel like I haven't been to a New York fashion party but I feel like everyone in New York is, like, worried about, like, what everyone around them is, like, thinking or seeing or yeah. saying about them. Yeah, I feel like them. the people here just, like, are really cool and they know and they're really yeah, cool. And so they're, they're like, like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, everyone's just so cool here. <laughs> I'm like, moving. I'm Goodbye, moving because I want to be cool Goodbye, like New this. Goodbye, New Jersey. Goodbye, hey. America. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ashton is about to head to the airport in a little bit, so I'm going to miss her. It's honestly really sad. We're, like, the best of friends, and we're so opposite, but it just works. Yeah, that's what's, like, fun about it, though. Like, if we were so similar, we'd probably get bored of each other. Yeah, and you know what I say about Ashton is she's so similar to Kristen, who's my best friend, because you're both very, like, Ugh, I just miss sweet Kristen. and, like, I don't know, like, like not slow but <laughs> soft like and calm. pure and kind and I don't know I feel like I'm so 
I feel like me and Kristen just like get each know, other. High strung and you guys are just like low key chilling and like just so sweet and cool. And I don't know. It's funny how I think that I looked for Ashton in a best friend because Ashton obviously is my best friend. But another best friend outside of my sister is just like the same vibe as you. And I'm like, it's just funny that I have I attracted also, to the same type. I think it's funny too. Like some of my friends that I just like. I'm deeply bonded with like Ava and Lily like they're both just like, like my two crazy, my like crazy me. friends that like bring out the fun side of me and like kind of force me to like be a little more cuckoo yeah opposites attract I feel like whenever I go to these type of events or trips or places though, I always need someone who's like feels like home to me yeah. yeah I would be so scared to do this alone okay well I guess that's all for the sisters trip to paris Is i'm it? gonna miss you oh no don't leave me wait can we stay in paris no i oh. have to go home to tailgate with all my friends i'm going back to the u miami frat parties and i'm so excited are you actually it's alumni weekend so it's allowed <laughs> you fucking loser <laughs> okay sorry i like my school are you coming to mardi gras this year maybe Oh, maybe I'll come to Mardi Gras. You should. Love I, you. I have a house now. Love you too. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Oh, au, au, au revoir. Au revoir. Merci. <laughs> Ashton, clear your fucking throat. <coughs> what is with you? You have I'm, perma disgustingness. I've been ill for weeks. All right. That's all for alex and ashton in paris i'm really gonna miss you i know this was such a fun weekend i'm gonna miss you too i love you so much i love you more see you in london maybe i'll come to london we'll see <laughs> i might be back in europe soon which means we're all going to be back in europe because hot mess is Travels. officially <laughs> traveling with me everywhere and i'm so happy for you guys to meet everyone and meet ashton Yay! Thanks for having me. Love you. Love you. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Ew. Um. Now it is time to get real with me in this segment. I'm going to be doing my skincare routine while I tell you guys what has been going on behind the posts of my social media. Oh my gosh, I am kind of very unwell today. It has been a long week for me. I feel like basically since Paris, I've been on a little bit of a bender and I think it's taken a toll on Big Al. I need a break. When I was coming back from Paris, I posted a TikTok that NFL man had picked me up from the airport. He had a cardboard sign. He had flowers. He was wearing a suit and everyone was like, what's going on here nfl man and i have this kind of inside joke with picking up each other from the airport the first time one of us went to get the other one was i was picking him up this was like probably a few months ago and i wanted to embarrass him because i just thought that would be fun so i showed up to the airport with like a sign taped to my car that said nfl man's name and I brought flowers, like I did this whole thing and he wasn't embarrassed by it. He was like loving it. He thought it was so funny. So we basically have just like gone back and forth with this. And he was like, you know, I'm gonna come get you from the airport with like a sign and a suit. And I was like, okay, like there's no way he's really gonna like dress up and wear a suit. I walk out and this is like the international area pickup cause it was an international flight. And he's standing there. I almost walked right past him. I have a video of me like walking by because someone else took it. And then I look and I see him and he's standing there with a sign that says Mrs. NFL man with flowers in a suit. I was dying. I was like, I wasn't embarrassed. It was very sweet, but I was like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> we need to get out of here <laughs> because you would have thought that like, I don't know, something serious and crazy was going on. And it wasn't. It's just like kind of our inside joke, but also really nice. He came all the way up into the airport, like right after I got out of the baggage claim. And I don't know how he got up there. He like parked his car and everything. He was like, I was just following like the other drivers that were picking people up. I was like, okay, thank you. And it was really sweet. Um, but that's kind of the behind the scenes of how NFL man ended up at, an, at the airport in a suit. And then after this, I get home and all of my college best friends come for alumni weekend. 
So I just spent the past few days with them. We have been going out nonstop every night like we were back in college. Honestly, it's like reminded me that college, I need to be done with it. We need to move on because I cannot be living this lifestyle anymore. It's so much like unhealthier. And I was just like, oh my, this is bad. So no more college for me, but we did film our whole alumni weekend going to the tailgates at U Miami for hot mess. We literally brought cameras to the fraternity parties, to the tailgate, and I was like, obviously, I need to bring you guys with me for this, so that will be all of next week's episode. You guys are going to freak out when you see this because, oh my god, it was insane, and I had way too much fun at the tailgate. I should, like, I shouldn't have gone. (laughs) Kristen had to rip me out of there. I was like, I want to stay. She was like, no, Alex, like, you really need to get out of here. (laughs) Like, it's time to go home. It's time to wrap it up. My doctor told me that she thinks I might need to go back on Accutane, which I just don't understand because this would be my fourth time on Accutane. I'm like, what does this drug have against me? Like, it's supposed to take it one time. It clears your skin for life. Like, what's wrong with me? So... I'm getting that all fixed right now. Hopefully we are like doing a bunch of blood tests because I'm like, something has to be wrong. Like I'm going to go get like a food test. I'm testing my hormone levels. I don't know what's going on over here. The crazy thing is I need to go pack right now because I'm getting on a flight to go to Ohio. It's been a long week. I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye. Alex, cooch is out. You can't bend over like that. Welcome to episode three of Hot Mess with Alex Earl. I thought it was episode four. Oh, you're so true.